What is going on, you guys? This is your boy Black Dash Eight One Three with another video. Um, coming at you guys. I am so so sorry. Uh, I've been kind of slacking. Also, been multitasking, doing a few other things while uh, I have been uh, trying to post videos. So, got to catch up on a few things. I just been trying to switch over from job to job now. Um, an extra job that I'm doing. So now um, I can actually catch up on some of these videos. And obviously, we're going into week four. Um, next seven days is going to be huge for us. I will also get into that. So, um, but let me get get to it. You know, uh, Bears was the first game. You know, week two, obviously because we missed the first week against uh, uh, the Dolphins because of Hurricane Irma. Uh, Twenty nine to seven. I mean, we played very good. We played Buccaneer football. Um, the game was over at halftime. So. You know, I did what we call pulling the dogs off, um, meaning that halftime we were up 26, 26 nothing, I believe. So uh, because of that, you know, third quarter, fourth quarter, we kind of uh, approached it a little bit different. Um, didn't do as much, try to do as much damage uh, while we were uh, playing. I mean, we, uh, you actually seen Peyton Barber and Ryan Fitzpatrick in the game. So uh, defense looked very, very, very good. I mean, although it's the Bears, you know, Robert McClain had a turnover, had a turnover, a, a pick six actually against Mike Glennon, who was coming back to Tampa for the first time after signing with Chicago. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, James had a decent game, over 200 yards. Um, he threw one to Mike Evans. Uh, I think Mike Evans ended with about over 90 yards. I think 90, 93 to be exact, and a touchdown. DJ pretty looked pretty well. The thing I didn't like is a few catches that he dropped. Um, a few catches that. Obviously, I think Jameis overthrew him on one, and also Jameis got hit on one, which obviously affected the pass. And it was, was just one that I felt like he dropped in the end zone. So, but he's gonna fit well. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna make our offense look a lot better. Um, as we know, that first uh, game against the Bears, you can't double, you can't, you cannot double Mike Evans. So, uh, OJ Howard, first round pick out of Alabama for us. He didn't really look too bad, but I'm not talking about catching wise. I'm saying as far as a player period. I mean, he did a lot of great blocking, helped Jaquez Rodgers get to a few holes that we needed. Obviously, to score touchdowns. So um, we we really looked uh, pretty decent. Um, I wouldn't expect, like I said, for for him to be uh, somebody that's getting a lot, a lot of catches just yet because he's sharing a lot of playing time and catches and targets with Cameron Brake. So we have a lot of offensive weapons. So you have to realize that, that sometimes one player may have a big game and the other player may not, um, as we've seen from different game, different games so far. So we look really, really good that week. Um, T.J. Ward, who just got in a week before that, uh, not even a week, uh, he actually probably two weeks, he didn't start. So he came in and made a huge play in the backfield. You know, he's a major hitter, and he's going to take away a lot of tight ends for us and also these slot corners, uh, slot receivers. So they're definitely going to watch – about coming across the middle, man. Like, they're not going to be doing that. So, um, we look really good against the Bears. I mean, I really was impressed on the things that we did as a team uh, to come out and be so, so, what's the word I'm looking for? So, so, chemistry went very well. Like, so, um, we look like Buc the, the template Buccaneers, basically. You know, what we've been seeing in practice, what we've been talking about, what we've seen on hard knocks, it looked very good. The defense looked like the defense. I remember a play Jerry McCoy did where he basically was in the backfield and forced uh, Mike Glenn to throw a pass that he didn't like, I believe, was deflected. So, uh, but he was close to being sacked, which it should have been a sack anyway. So, we looked very, very good against the Bears. Um, we did the things that we needed to on both sides. The special teams looked pretty good. Um, I I think, if I'm not mistaken, we missed a field goal. Um, that has to be fixed, obviously. So, um, but it's the Bears, though. You know, to be honest with you, you know, the Bears are not. Although they're another NFL team, I don't think they have the similar type playmaker. They're not on the same level as us playmaker-wise, um, as we are. So, I think that we took advantage of that, and we showed it. I mean, we looked much, much better. Uh, we looked like a really real deal playoff team. Um, and it was a home game, home opener. So, obviously, we came out there fine and excited. So, that week was a very, very good week for us. Um, Jameis looked like the Jameis that we need every week. Um, and things went well. Um, let me see if I can remember the defense. The defense looked like the defense. Kendall Beck would play out of his mind. He looks like a very good defensive player. That a good different defense is still late in the uh, draft. Um, he's going to do a lot of damage for us. So, expect for him to be somebody that – does things that not many players will do. So 
Um, but that was a good week for us. Very good week. Now moving on to uh, the Vikings game. And it's funny because one of my best, best friends, or my closest friend actually, is a Viking fan. So I was expecting to hear about this game throughout the whole, throughout here, get text messages throughout this game, about this, this game the whole time, which I really didn't. Um, and I appreciate him for not doing that. But then he hit me up later on about having a conference call. And you know what I mean? We end up talking about it later on. So um, a big deal that I thought that played a huge part is, you know, the turnovers. Um, as I, I, at work or in my free time, uh, I actually sat there and did the review for or game plans for both of these teams. You know, what are the strengths? What are the weaknesses? You know, and all the strengths for the Vikings went their way. And all the weaknesses of the Bucks played on us. You know, one thing we know and we all know is Jameis is a gunslinger. Um, he takes chances. And this team, their defense, he took chances and they, and they capitalized on all of them. So I think that that hurt us the most. Um, he capitalized on, on all. They capitalized on all the turnovers that we, all the mistakes, you know, all the things that we've done, um, or some of the, the throws that I would say some of us did not really like for Jameis to throw. So um, it was a, it was one pick where I mean I remember Deshaun Jackson was going across the middle. It seemed like he kind of expected him to continue going right, and Jack Jackson was there. I think Jackson ended up going up the scene. That was a pick. Um, one against, I believe, Evans. It was in Evans' hands later on in the game. It hits Evans' hands. Ball's up in the air. Free ball. Somebody picks it off. So those two, um, I would gladly take back if I could. Um, I think those just were two things that kind of flew in the wrong way for us. But one thing that really, really hurt us is we could not run the ball, like, at all. Like, we couldn't run. I mean, we could not do any running. It was just all pass. And once you get one dimension with any team, it's bad. So we went one dimension with eight. Very, very good defensive defensive team, which I'm pretty sure out of 11 of those players, they probably have about seven to eight that go to the Pro Bowl. So we went one-dimensional against them, and that played a lot, a, a big, big difference. So I think that if we can bounce back from this, this loss, um, it's going to be huge. But the thing that played a huge part was the turnovers. I mean, we came back in the third quarter. We put up 14 points. And it was back to a two-possession game. You know what I mean? We were good. And then another turnover comes. I believe that's the one that went to – I mean, I think that's the one that went from the Jack, uh, Deshaun Jackson's you know, turn that screwed us. So, um, and for you Dalvin Cook fans, uh, I don't know how you feel about that, but he really did, really did run over us. I mean, we had a lot of key players out. You know, Chris Baker, um, Quan, Quan in play, Brent Groth in play. So, um he ran all over us, you know what I mean? For you Dalvin Cook fans that wanted him to be in a you know, pewter uniform, uh, I'm pretty sure you're pretty pissed about that. But at the same time, um, we kind of back, came back and put some points up. But And that's what I'm definitely happy, to, happy about. But the thing that hurt us the most is the fact that we had injuries. Jerry McCoy went down at some point. Uh, Noah Spence went down, I believe, at some point. Vernon Harvey went down at some point. Levante Davis' injury looked very, very crucial, but I believe that it was just – Something not as bad. I think I believe it was his ankle. So not as bad as it seemed. It's him getting carted off the field. So um, I think right now we need to regroup after week three. You know, that was a reality check for our team. Simple as that. Um, you can't go in here. Um, when I say you, every week you have to treat the same, no matter who the team is um, and no matter where it is. I mean, every team is an NFL team. You know, we come back and we blow the Bears out, and we come back and get blew out by the Vikings. So, although the Vikings are considered a playoff team, and all, not, not only that, they beat us with a second-string quarterback. So, uh, you have to realize that that was something that was very crucial crucial as well. Um, you have to know that something we we weren't consistent in just in those two games. And it's good that it happened this early. But, guys, don't forget that it's only week three. I mean – only a few teams go undefeated. You know, the Patriots did it. They lost to the Super Bowl. And the Dolphins did it back in 72. So, you know, we're going to lose games. And at the same time, but it's how you bounce back from them. So I definitely feel like we'll bounce back against the Giants. Um, but the Giants are going to come in here, and it's not going to be easy, man. I mean, I don't believe they won a the game all season as well. They're 0-3. And although we're back at Tampa, and we're going to be ready, so are they. I mean, they had a crazy game, I believe, last week against the Eagles, which they ended up losing by a field goal. So we need to be ready for this week. Um, 
I definitely will be posting again another video talking about the the strength and weaknesses of both teams and what I expect to happen. Um, probably tomorrow, maybe Saturday. But at the same time, guys, this game is crucial. Because as I said earlier in this video, we have these next seven days are important. These next seven days. And the reason why seven days is because today is Thursday. Next Thursday, we have the, pa the Patriots. Tom Brady and company comes to town. Bill Belichick comes to town. So we need to do what we need to do this week coming up at 405. Handle business. Be above 500. Have that confidence. And then going into Thursday, we will be well. We will be ready to go because Tom Brady is nobody to play with. Him, Gronk, Brandon Cooks, Danny Amendola, Chris Hogan, Stephon Gilmore, um, plenty of these guys that they have. So we need to be prepared. We need to be prepared for these next seven, seven, seven days. So I wanted to touch on both games, but we need to have a short memory, short-term memory. Although James had the game that he had, he's a gunslinger. Brett Favre has had multiple games like that. Go look up how many interceptions he's thrown in his whole career. So he's done that multiple times, and he has a Super Bowl, and he's in the Hall of Fame. Guys, remember that. So at the same time, I mean, it's a loss. We take one, take one to the chest, but it's a reality check more important. And it's glad that we had it before this next stretch because, as I said, man, we have the Giants coming up at home. We have the Patriots coming up. And I believe 